Yeah, she's really bright, isn't she? She is. Uh... She's got a lovely voice. Oh, you're very pretty, aren't you? I love her markings. Yeah, that's so pretty. Come on. Yeah. Good girl. Hey, cat. Has she always been diabetic? No, only for the last year. Tail quiver. She's um, she's quite excitable, isn't she? She does settle down quite quickly. Yeah, it's good. But it's, what yeah. a nice way to come home at the end of the day if this is what happens. She's Wouldn't that be lovely? Super, super friendly. Mm. Um, when I have time, she'll quite happily sit on my lap for a good half hour, and she'll purr and look, look me deeply in the eyes. <sighs> um, <laughs> And considering she's only been in here with me for four days, so she's mm. a very, very friendly lap cat, really. So she attaches fast. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's nice. Not phased by anything. No. Mm. She's very confident. <coughs> I know. <laughs> um. So we've had a really good response on Twitter about her. Yeah, it's some really people... a shame that no one's come forward yet mm. to the doctor. Yeah, maybe this weekend. Yeah. Because, um,. Someone else who has a diabetic cat from here, actually, um, Biggie, was saying on Twitter that, you know, it's easy once you work out how to do it. Oh, that's nice. And they got their cat from here, I think, about seven years ago. Something like that. So, um, does she need to be the only cat? She does. Um, originally she had a sister with her and they weren't getting on very well. Mm. Um, she was actually handed in um, by someone who was pregnant and just couldn't oh. cope with having two cats, actually. Too much change, um, yeah. She was rehomed in 2010. Right. Um, and then was diagnosed as diabetic last year. And unfortunately, it was quite a young person with a very busy job, and they found it very difficult right. to um, give her her injections um, twice oh, a day. Okay. Um, it's not to do with the actual administering; it's just to do with uh, you need to do it twice a day. A regular time table. And you know, if you've got a busy job and you're out a lot in the evening, it's very hard to mm. come home and to do that at a certain time if you so, don't really. So, if you've got a fairly regular timetable. A, a regular that time, so it doesn't have to be spot on, but if, um, and as long as it's sort of the same times every day, it doesn't have to be a very specific time, no. once in the morning, once in the evening. Yeah, so people with an average lifestyle should Yeah, fit most in people really well. should be able to, I mean the lady was quite young, she was in her 20s yes. and she was um, obviously, career building. Um, her job was taking a lot of time yeah. and, um, and she'd have to be available for work Yeah, and, and then stuff. coming home from work to sort of give her her... her she likes listening to your voice. She loves me. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I'm, um, I'm the cat whisperer at the moment because they're all in love with me, aren't you? Oh, that's a nice I'm glad to see her so happy here. She's um, smoochy, isn't she? And again, I've only had her with me for yeah. four days, so um, you can see how friendly she is, yeah. how social she is. And so, she's really healthy and she is, isn't she? bright eyed and lovely. She's, and she's got loads of energy. So, um, children? Can she live with children? Possibly. Um, Young children? It really depends on the family. She's the sort of cat that, um, well, with diabetes, um, stress can make their sugar level levels go up. Oh, okay. So you'd want a fairly relaxed home. Mm -hmm. um, but she's very friendly. So with the right children, you'd be okay, would you? Yeah. Dogs? Um, probably not dogs. Hamsters, um, I'm sure she'd love hamsters. <laughs> <laughs> Something to blame in, wouldn't Cat it? Telly. Um, but yeah, um, I, ideally someone who's going to be able to be home to give her insulin. And, and you know, all of us have um, lifestyles where there's going to be a bit of coming and going and stuff. But, yeah. you know, as long as it's not a hugely busy home, yeah. it's pretty fine. Yeah. So, um, with the... Uh, oh, 
the injections, mm -hmm. the people that adopt cat, will they have a little run through here? Yeah. Um, get a little. We're going to show them how it's done, and we'll also get the vet to show them. It's so easy. Um, cats love routine, mm -hmm. um, and um, cats used to having their injections. It's really, really simple. So you literally scruff her, right? And then the needle goes into the scruff. It takes two seconds. She'll stand and wait for you to do it. She doesn't okay. mind it at all. Okay. Um, she's used again. to having them. Let's have a look. Right. Um, she's used to having the injections. Okay. And um, um, can you show me where the needle goes again? Needle goes in, in just into her scruff here. Right. So it's like when they have their boosters at the vet. Yes. It's uh, the same. Same procedure. principle. And um, obviously she's not as stressed as a cat would be being in the vet because she's having it done at, at home. home. And she's used to having it twice a day, yeah. so she's not bothered. No. She doesn't mind. Right. Uh, and then does she eat normally? Um, she needs to have a little bit of food just before her injection because the insulin will bring her sugar levels down. Right. And the food will help stimulate the, the, the glucose, which okay. um, which helps for it to process for her body, really. That's so, what it is. So people could just, when they get up in the morning, give her some breakfast, and mm. then before they leave for work, they give her an injection. You can. Is that about um, right? I mean, my parents have had a diabetic cat for seven years, and um, he wakes my mum up to have his injection. My mum gets <laughs> up quite early, mind you. Um, and he will stand at the food bowl oh, and look, wow. and the food goes down, and he has the injection at the same time. Oh, so okay. they're going to eat. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah. You don't yeah. have to be as precise as no. um, people might think, and as long as it's regularly. Um, twice a day, morning and evening, and try and keep it to a set time, so maybe uh, it might be at nine in the morning, depends on your job, Yeah. Um, and then it might be eight o'clock in the evening, that's Fine. okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or a bit earlier, but try and keep it the same time every day, because the cats get used to yeah. used to it being the same time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. cool. Other than that, she doesn't need anything special. No. Um, she's really healthy. Just regular food. Mm. Um, she has... Um, special diabetic food but it's right. no more expensive than um the, the food that you'll get from right. the vets you can buy that online you can buy anyway. it online yeah you can save and a lot of money by you can it. save money buying it online i mean we we all tend to give our cats the premium food anyway because yeah. it's better for them nutritionally yeah. and diabetic food is no dearer than the the good food that yeah. the vet would recommend yeah, yeah. cool well then oh okay Going Interview's ahead. over, apparently. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> I think I've outstayed my welcome. <laughs> I'm dismissed. Okay.